In this video, we're going to learn how to insert footnotes and endnotes, format them, remove the footnote separator line and convert footnotes to endnotes and vice versa. A footnote is a simple way to include additional information to a sentence or paragraph which can be displayed either at the bottom of the same page or just below the text. An endnote is similar to a footnote but as the name suggests, displays at the end of a document or at the end of a section. To insert a footnote, click where you want to insert it. Click on a reference tab and click in the bottom right arrow of the footnotes group. Select footnotes and choose where you would like the footnotes to be displayed. For example, at the bottom of the page or below the text. Choose the number format and whether you would like the footnote numbering to be continuous or to restart from each new section or on every page. Once you're happy with your choices, click insert. A placeholder will appear for you to type what you want to display in a footnote. To insert additional footnotes using the same settings, on the Reference tab, click on Insert Footnote. To insert a footnote using a custom mark or symbol, expand the footnote group on the Reference tab. Type the custom mark in a custom window. For this example, I will type an asterisk by holding down the shift key and the number 8 on my keyboard. To use a built-in symbol, click on Symbol and browse for the different symbols in the different font groups. To convert footnotes to endnotes, click on the Reference tab and expand the footnotes group. With footnotes selected, click on Convert. If there are no existing endnotes within a document, select Convert all footnotes to endnotes and click OK. Select the number format and click Close. Navigate to the end of the document or the end of the section to view the converted footnotes. To remove the default separator line above the footnotes, click on the View tab and click on Draft View. Click on the References tab and click on Show Notes. At the bottom of the page, select Footnote Separator from the drop down list. Select the line and press the delete or backspace key on the keyboard. Go back to print preview to see the change. To reinsert the line, go back to draft view. Click on the references tab and click on show notes. At the bottom of the page, select footnote separator from the drop down list. Hold down the shift and dash key on your keyboard to insert a custom separator line. To change the formatting of all footnotes at once, select any of the footnotes and press Ctrl Shift S on your keyboard to bring up the style dialog box. Click on modify and edit the formatting to your preferences. Once you're happy with your choices, click OK. The formatting for all of the footnotes has updated. To navigate to a footnote reference within a document, right click on a footnote and click on Go to Footnote. To delete a footnote, delete the footnote reference within the body of the document. To delete all footnotes at once, press Ctrl H on your keyboard to bring up Find and Replace. Click in a Find What window and click on More. Click on Special and select Footnote Mark. Leave the Replace With window empty and click on Replace All. This will delete all numeric footnotes at once. Any footnotes created using custom or built-in symbols will have to be deleted individually. To insert an endnote, click where you want to insert it and expand the footnotes group on the References tab. Select Endnotes. Choose where you want the endnote to display. 
either at the end of the document or end of a section. Select the number format from the drop down list. Just like the previous example with footnotes, you can also use custom marks and symbols. Once you've made your selection, click Insert. Type what you want to appear in the endnote. To insert additional endnotes using the same settings, click on Insert Endnote on the References tab. To convert all endnotes to footnotes, expand the footnotes group. Select Endnote and click on Convert. If there are no existing footnotes in a document, select Convert all endnotes to footnotes. Click OK and then click Close. The endnotes have now converted to footnotes and adopted the modified footnote style. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.